What's up guys, Card Protagonist here, and today I'll be doing an updated deck profile on the Tetra Boy Dragon deck from the on set GBD09. So basically, GBD09 has given this set, this deck a bit of upgrade, uh, namely a few cards, which is these two cards. Other than that, the deck all, um, actually remains the same, but I'll be going through how the deck works overall, since I have this special layout. Uh, credit to my friend Paddy for lending me his Aquaforce deck. Thank you, bro. So as you guys know, actually, my favourite archetype for Aquaforce is uh, Tetra Boy, because I just really, really like how... I just really like dragons overall, and the uh, Aqua Dragons just appeals to me so much. So the good thing about this deck is he has a very powerful Resending Vanguard. Re not only Resending Vanguard, you, your Rigus is able to restand. So this deck is all about mo aggressive multiple attacks. So let us get on to the deck profile, and I'll explain why he chose certain cards after playtesting, and yeah, let's begin. So first up, we have Anger Boy Dragon, four copies of Anger Boy. Basically, he's your main right target of the deck. His ability is GB2. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, he gains plus 5k until your turn 2 on Rhaegar's stand plus uh, 10k. So basically, it allows you to get... It is like a mini Lambros if you do not perform strike. But unlikely because you got so many awesome strikes in this deck. But it, nonetheless, it's still a very, very good skill. Second skill is when I perform strike onto a um, Tetra Boy Dragon, you can put... Uh, he gains a skill, wave 2. When the Vanguard attacks, you can stand 2 of your Rhaegar's and he gains plus 3k power. Very good, because um, especially when you power up to your regard such as Tidro Assault, that 3k power maintains, giving it more plus, because it's, a it's able, because cards like Tidro Assault and this card is able to attack multiple times. So, very, very powerful card. Um, basically, what you want to use him for is for the Tetra Boy skill. To use Tetra, to use Tetra Boy, you basically need to have um, a Blue Wave, Blue Wave um, Vanguard, not wrong, Blue Wave Heart. Yes, this is why we play all the Tetra Boils. So basically, that's that's the whole card. Very, very powerful card. He doesn't even have Calm Blast cost. So definitely a must-play card in this deck. Three copies of uh, Tetra, Tetra Drive, old school card. We play him because of Limit Break. And this deck doesn't have a lot of GBs other than the, um, other than the double attacker, this one. Does this even have GB? Yes, this has GB one. So uh, only this card has a GB. This deck is uh, able to fight against uh, Grand Blue 7 Cs because... He is able to limit break. Limit break basically is a restander for limit break. Home blast two and can restand. Yeah, good card. And he has um activate home blast one plus two k, which no one ever uses. So because um there are so many ways to use home blast in this deck, you will always run out home blast because this the effects are just so good. Right, let's go into great tools. The great tools we have is blue wave marine general four volts. Four volts is a um from the uh, from the clan booster. At the third wave only, so you can only use the skill when you're at third attack or more. So a third attack only. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, you may uh, pay the cost of Calm Blast 1 if you do. And you must have a blue wave Vanguard, of course. Uh, you can resend the unit gives um, plus 2k power. So most of the times, right, we need to have cards that gains plus 3k power so they can solo a Vanguard and resend solo again. So that's pretty nice to have. So yeah, foibles, four copies. Um, it is good because it, is, it also has, it doesn't have the GB skill, so... And this new card is actually comparable to Foibos, but there are some there are some drawbacks to this card, as in it can't attack early, it can't rush early game because you must have a great tree or more blue wave vanguard. So yeah, that's the only difference against this. So if you wanna mix it mix them up, it's okay. It's cool. But um because I think Paddy loves the early game rush, so he played four copies of four of us. Uh four titles out. Um sell free them self explanatory. When this unit attacks the vanguard, at the end of battle we can uh, reduce 5k power and it can resend. Yeah, multiple attacks, especially when you pump your crit into him. He uh, the, the the double crit the double attacking with crit is a lot of pressure, especially in the early games where opponent has small hand size. Ah, uh, the brand new card, her. Our twin tails, lovely twin tails girl. So basically when she's when you have um blue wave great tree or greater vanguard, so I believe that a lot of GBD knight uh, support uh, requires you to have at least a great tree blue wave. You may be the cause of some soul blast. So when your blue wave cut attacks your Vanguard attacks, so your, when your Great Tree Blue Wave and above attacks, so whether it's Stride or Great Tree, you can pay the cost of one Soul Blast. If you do, the Vanguard and choose the Vanguard and another Regard gives us 2k power. So usually what I'll use is my Vanguard attacks, I'll power up uh, Foibos or Tyra Assault so they can solo first. Yep, so it's pretty dang good. Yeah, he gains plus 2k and your end of turn. Alright, so uh, finally the one, la the one new, the last card, that's, the last support for this thing. Oh, uh, that's not only really last of all, of course we have strikes. Alright, so this one is very very good. I find him very awesome because he not only he has GB, he doesn't have GB, so you could actually fight against um uh, salty seas. 
uh, activate once per turn. Count plus one if E special count plus one blue wave. If you have a great shield or greater vanguard of blue wave, so yeah, blue wave vanguard. This unit gives us two K power, so you do not need to like uh, purposely power him up because you already have a eleven K base, so you can solo the vanguard. And he gets a skill when this unit at the end of the t end of the end of wave two when this unit attacks, you can restand it. So it's very good. So you can basically attack something, then attack with him. Wave two, you can restand, then wave three, restand. Woo, man, so much attacks, awesome. All right, for great ones, uh, G perfect guards, uh, self explanatory. This card. Basically, she is one of the best cards in Aquaforce, I find. Because she, her G bond skills during the turn, this unit is able to attack from the back row. And if this unit attacks, it gains a 3k power. If this unit attacks from the back row, So what you want to do is, um, she basically helps you get your... She basically helps you get, get your guarantee... Uh, guarantee 4th attack or more. Because um, when you attack the back row, it's basically additional attack. So your front row attacks, your back row attacks. That's 2 attacks in total. And what you use before, usually I use her to snipe off regards, uh, 9k regards because it gains her 3k power. She uh, doesn't need to attack the vanguard, I believe. Yeah, so as soon as she attacks on the back row, she can snipe off regards. Very, very good. And she stays at the back so she won't get uh, attacked to death. Um, Horse Rider basically is our um, strike helper. This deck is strike deck, so we play 3. Now, this card is also pretty good. When your vanguard attacks, Gritch, you can search your deck for. Fourth wave or more, when the Vega attacks, you can search your deck for a, I mean, search your drop zone for a blue wave add to your hand. So it's good because um, basically you make your strike free. You can strike again next turn. Or grid three if you in case you wanna. I believe it's for the old decks where you can actually just do break right and stuff. Yeah. Uh, one of these, two of these birds, bird thing. Seagull soldier, so cute. So basically, when this uh, fourth wave of battle or more, when this unit attacks and booster and attack hits, right? Yeah, attack. When the end of battle, this unit is boost. Oh, it doesn't need to hit. So unlike the the old units where you have to hit to return, this one just needs to attack at the fourth or battle or more, and it goes back to your hand. And when this card enters the field, the regard circle, you can soul blast one. If you do, choose one of your other units gets tricky power. So very good for for your boss and that is all. Ooh man, running out of breath. All right, so um, great zeros. Previous, it's not standard because we he plays seven crits. Uh, alligators, alligator crits is so dang good, especially when um, the turn you're using the Tetra Boy. Tetra Boy is able to attack twice, so when you use his skill, counter, um, activate shuffle him back to the deck, select our vanguard and he gains a skill, wave 2 or more, when the unit, attack, when the unit attacks the vanguard, you can draw a card. So basically, um, your vanguard is going to be attacking twice, so you can draw two cards for one card. So damn good. So it even goes back to the deck, so you can check it later on. One of the best crits in my opinion. Uh, five copies of draws. Uh, four draws is the um, Mago clone, and one of them is just a standard draw. Any draw you want. Four heal triggers. Uh, most importantly, they try to make them blue storm because you need to pay for each special home blast. And finally, the starter. The starter is really dang good. Uh, for a trial deck starter, it's really very powerful. Um, activate once per turn, put this unit in the soul, and choose one of the regards. Again, the skill. Once per turn, when, at the end of battle, the unit attacks the vanguard, you can stand that unit. So basically, put the soul. Give your anger boy a restand skill, so your anger boy attacks, then you can restand attack all the time. So it helps you hit your fourth battle or more for your requirements, such as Tetra Boy and Lambros. Great starter. Right, so let's go to G units. First up, the boss monster of the deck, Tetra Boy Dragon. Very powerful. We call it Giraffe Hit Dragon. Any dragon has long neck. Uh. They have very OP skill. Just look at Thing Saber Dragon. Yes, it's a long neck. Okay, that's shitty logic. So, um, very, very powerful card, Tetra Boy. is able to count blast one. Basically, skill is count blast one, uh, discard one, and you can restand. But you have to be have the four battle more. Let, let me read the whole text for you guys. Right? Choose a card name um, itself face up and turn it face up in the G zone. When this unit attacks the Vanguard and you have a heart with blue wave, you may pay the cost. If you do this at the end of the turn, this unit gives us minus one drive and a skill. Wave, fourth time only. So, basically, uh, fourth time. At the end of the battle, your Rhaegar attacks the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. So basically, at the 4th battle, your Rhaegar attacks, you must you must pay the cost of discarding one card and you can restand. So what you do is, okay, okay, when you um, break right on, break strike, strike break onto um, Anger Boy, Anger Boy is a second wave. So basically, you want to try to do second wave so that you can resend your other Rhaegars. So se attack your sec second, okay, first attack your other Rhaegars, then attack with him. Um, then his skill will trigger, you send the two Rhaegars that just attacked. 
then later your rearguards that attack gain for battle, it can re-stand again, okay? Then you can attack. Yeah, it's it's pretty complicated. Aqua 4 is a, quite a skillful deck to play because you must try to memorize your best combos. So yeah, it's very good because it, it doesn't lose uh, Twin Drive after that. It's just, uh, it just basically an Overlord the Ace. And you know, Overlord the Ace is good. And it's a, it's very easy to pull off the skill. Unless they're fighting against Link Jokers, then that's another that's another, another question for another time. Right, uh, four copies of Commander Tabas, very, very good card because um, most of the time we'll be using him for the first strike. He basically gives one of the regard plus 5k. So imagine giving 5k to cards like Foibos or any resending units. These additional swings, this is totally worth it. And GB3, so you can use it in the late game as well. Fourth battle or more, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, your opponent chooses one of his regards among them and retire it. So basically, you select three of your opponent's regards and he must choose one of them to retire if fourth battle or more. Uh, but most of the time, I won't use his skill. I won't use it for his first skill. We use it, we use a GP3, probably going to use all the other finishes, which is so much deadlier. Now, unless it's a very good skill. The the non GB, so the first try, you can actually use his skill, give a 5k, 5k to you, and you can attack from the back row. So you could even give her, uh, sorry, you can give other units, like, I don't know, like Seagull and just swing. Uh, I don't know why we should want to do that, but yeah. Uh, Lambros, finisher. When Lambros attack the fourth battle or more, you can resend send two units and you gain the 10k power. So many good stuff you can pull off this deck. And it's a free of cost. Uh, one copy of this guy. This uh, rare card that is double rare. Is it, I can't even see it shine. Yeah, GB, it's, a, uh, it's a new card from GB9. Basically, uh, Soul Blast 1 card with blue wave in the name. Look at, this, look at the 7 cards of the top deck and choose one of the great trees with blue wave and place them onto your bank as a good as a heart. So this card is basically used for your... You could use it in first strike. So for example, you... You let's say you unfortunately ride into Tetra Boy, yeah, Tetra Drive Dragon, and you want to get an Anger Boy in the soul. Hopefully, you can first try this and try Soul Blast One, look at top seven cards, and try to replace the soul, try to replace its heart. So, it's pretty okay. So, basically, it helps you get your heart, try help you get your heart if you really need to. Yeah, if so, basically, if, if my first try, if my heart is this, I'll probably use this to try to go into this because it's um. It's uh break strike strike break skills is so good. One copy of Wailing Tabas, the brand new Tabas on GB9. So, ooh, secret, secret generation rare looks sweet. Go for my courage of fate. Yeah. Um GB3 when this unit attacks for each battle that the rear guard attacks before this unit, choose one of your opponents. Uh rear guards and retire it. So it's it basically you since you'll be attacked so many times, most likely you can sweep off his whole field. Very very powerful control card. So your opponent is Huge few, just use this guy. Whoa, damn it, it's Kagero. I guess that's why a dragon behind. So, GB2, when third wave or more, when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost of one count blast. If you do this, you get 5k power for each battle your regards attack this turn. So, imagine all the combo attacks you do. The cost of one count blast, you gain huge amounts of power and a skill. Your opponent can call great one cards from the hand to the guy in circle. So, basically, uh, no sentinels for your opponent. So, if your opponent does have a G guard, doesn't even have, doesn't have enough G Guardians is pretty much screwed because this is going to get a lot of power. I remember Paddy swing with me for 50k. Yeah, 50k guard. So I didn't, I can't perfect guard and I'm, I got destroyed. So yeah, uh, G, um, G Guardians, two copies of Ice Barrier Dragon. So it's basically a 20k, 25k shield for the first and fourth battle or more. So it's very good because most of the time your Vanguard's going, your opponent's Vanguard is going to be attacking first, so you can actually twenty five k shield, easy. Uh, one a gleam to discard draw, cycle cards, and one screw just in case you can't, just in case it's the second or second third battle you could use screw. I always use him so good, right? So I hope you guys enjoy my deck, prof my deck profile, my friends Paddy's Anger Boy Dragon deck. Be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe for more awesome deck profiles. Peace out and love you guys. Have a great day.